Good evening, gamers. I think you saying I'm coming in the distance was the first audio that was heard. <laughs> I unmuted the mics and you said I'm coming in the distance. Uh, just like everyone in that Sherlock game. <laughs> everyone in that Sherlock game who... What did they... I don't know what you're talking about. Remember, other than use the pepper snuff, the last thing I heard at, oh, the, at yeah. that fight was that guy saying I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. I forgot about that. <laughs> what, uh, what's up, sorry, everybody? Everyone. Hi. It's, I was changing my shirt. Julia was worried that she was wearing the same sweatshirt she was wearing on the last stream we did. And then I had to respond to emails <laughs> on an urgent thing. Uh, so I was, uh, I was a couple of seconds late. I'm sorry. Somebody just came in here and said, Jacob, it's pronounced Raya, by the way. I'm going to freaking lose it on you. I'm going to annihilate. Do you think they're trolling you at this point? I think they're trolling me. Okay. Because like everyone in the game. Everyone in the game says Rhea. That's why I say Rhea. Rhea. I will not be accepting critique of how I pronounce it uh, any further. Someone asked where I got the sweater. I got it from a store that I don't think exists anymore. Nice. It was called Bass Pro Shops. <laughs> 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 we used to have an outlet store on Long Island, and uh, that's where I got it. Uh, okay, Mimsy said they were indeed trolling me. Good. It's just a little personal gripe that I like to rib people about. Acceptable. As long as you don't think you're right, then it's fine. Oh my god, it exists. It's called GH Bass. GH Bass Pro Shops. And um, this sweater is from like 10 years ago, though, so I don't know. Maybe they have it. Arch Sanity said, please, dear folks, I never get to watch stream and I have been dying to know what the art above Julia's desk is. That's a Sam Bosma. It's a Sam Bosma piece. From a very long time ago. It's really cool. Let me see if I can get like a zoom on it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's see what, what we can this? do. Please get Olive. Where Olive is headbutting Julia. It's very cute. Let's see if we can get a zoom on it. Enhance. 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 There it is. There's a really rad Sam Bosma piece. There's like, there's a wizard in there. See this like... Sometimes I just stare at it and I'm like, why am I not? It's like a bird person. And... Why am I not as good at yeah. art as him? And I mean, then I, I remember it's because I don't practice nearly as much as, as Sam much. Bosma does. Yeah. Yeah, I think about that with the backgrounds too, or how he draws cars, or how he draws people, or how he does color, or how he does uh, anything. Yeah, he's one of my faves. I live. Bex. We can go a little more up. There we go. That's good. Why is that open? Said Jacob, your rad shirts have inspired me to buy more fun shirts. So thank you for helping me live my best life. You should. You should wear fun shirts. Oh my God. I left the shirt open on my screen so that I could show you. But you didn't show me. But then I had to answer a bunch of emergency emails. If you didn't show me, I can't see it. It was a shirt about how much this person loved green onions. I do love green onions. You know this about me. Yes. Was that a draw fume? Oh, was that a, a Gundam mug? Yes. Yes, it is. It's a replacement Gundam mug because I dropped Julia's in the sink and broke it. The original one. The one that I bought, I think, with you? And then I had to buy her more Gundam mugs to, to apologize. Jacob broke it and I was like, that's all right. I'll just like glue it together and then make it like a mantelpiece. And Jacob was like, no. <laughs> Not only will I replace it, I'm going to get you more Gundam I'm mugs. I'm going to get you a Gundam mug and a Zaku mug. I will leave you with more bugs than you started with. And thus you can't be mad at me. I wasn't even mad to begin with. I was like, that's a shame. No, that's all right. I'm Sydney said, I thought Jacob liked scallions. Jacob is a liar and a vegetable two timer. I think you're joking, but scallions <laughs> and green onions are the same thing, in case you're not joking. 
They're the same vegetable. This mic has so much fur on it. Yeah. I got to defur these mics. With the mug thing, I feel like it's not... It's not even like on my list of things to be upset with someone about. Like you accidentally broke my mug, so I'm not like gonna be mad at you. It's not like you did it out of spite, you know. Well, no, but still, it's like a bummer. I appreciate that you were, you know, apologetic about it, but um, it wasn't like wrecking me, you know. There's just some things that are not worth fighting about, and you yeah. accidentally doing something is not one of those things. To everyone saying I look like an elf, I just want you to know that when I was younger, I used to be called Elf Boy. You as shouldn't a, have uh, told chat that. As a nickname because of the way my ears, my ears do stick out in kind of an elfish fashion because I have attached lobes also. Mm. So they just kind of go up and out. And then when I wear the hat and it pushes my hair down, it makes it more apparent that my ears stick out like that. But I don't mind. I think there's worse things to look like than an elf boy. They could have nicknamed me like shit pile Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he is. Shit pile so Steve. So I'd rather here. be elf boy than shit pile Steve. You know? You know what I'm saying? My parents used to call me mouse. Because you were a little mousy. Yeah. A little mousy girl. Well, because I would chew with like my front teeth and I had like a tiny mouth. So, you so just, you're just like, nyum, 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 nyum. yeah, you know, shit pile Steve is kind of growing on me. <laughs> <laughs> shit pile um, Steve shit is kind of, shit pile Steve kind of rules actually. It now that I like think about over it. the garden wall villager. Yeah. <laughs> shit pile Steve, Lord of the commode. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's an alt, a good alternate name for dung eater? I think, yeah, when we meet Dung Eater, I'm going to call him Shit Pile Steve. Yeah. The, the loathsome Shit Pile Steve, exactly. That's beautiful. Yeah. Great. Um, why you don't we start let's play the game a little bit so we can get some gameplay in before, yeah. and before as the always, ads start running. Jacob will be summoning. Yes, so I will. The password is Tummy? No, it's Yammers. <laughs> Gamers! <laughs> I show it every time. You do. And I'll show it again, but not before showing how big my sword is. That's right, you respect, right? Look at my sword, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my sword is complete? That would cut a wheel of cheese. Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has a big sword? I got a big sword and I upgraded the big sword. And then I also farmed up this entire armor set. I'll show you the whole armor set. I can't wear it all right now because it makes me heavy roll. But I did farm it up. And then the gloves. Because it's pretty sick. Oh, that's very good. But it make it make me too heavy to wear it all. You ever pet a cat so good that when they open their eyes just a little bit, you see their like second eyelids are in and they're like kind of wall eyed and they're just like, yeah. yeah. So you respect between the last playthrough and this one. Yes, correct. Yes. So, so now instead of doing fire spells. All I do is is hit. I hit really hard. Um, so I guess we're just going to start into it. Let me show you the multiplayer password. It is Yammers with a capital Y there on the top right of the screen. Uh, so put that in your multiplayer password slot if you want to get summoned. Where are you going to be? Um, I think the first place I'll be summoning is the North Celia Crystal Tunnel in Kalid. I do believe that is the, the first place. Um, but first, we want to go to the Church of Vows. And I'm trying to remember specifically. I know that I come here and that I'm going southeast to get the Flame Cleanse Me spell because it gets rid of Scarlet Rot. But I don't remember exactly where it is. Oh, and also this is the, the main move of my arsenal is this one right here. Whoop. Wow. So you'll be seeing lots of that. Do we play on PC, and if so, how well does it typically run? 
Uh, we've been playing on PC. It runs perfectly um, on my PC, but my PC is also very high end. So I don't know on like a normal, on like a normal PC. Um, oh, I bet it's in there. Do we think it's in there? Or is Someone's it down or is you. it down there with that guy? Hey. I don't want to fall off the cliff and hoit myself. No, don't. Is the fire camp nearby? Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you, Reed Marks, damn it. Appreciate it. Hey, I think I just gotta ride in here and snag it. Look at this big sword. Isn't that fun? It is fun. And I'll show you, it's uh, it's really fun too, because when you do the big flip, it um, it just like smashes whoever you hit to the ground. We'll do it on this guy. Welcome to hell. It also has incredible hyper armor. Oh my god. <laughs> so it, it kind of goes through like anything. Whoop. <laughs> Damn. So it's really fun. Hey buddy, how you doing? How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? <laughs> the big flip. Uh, one cute canine. Thank you for the nice message. Say they watch. Uh, they watch on YouTube all the time. Oh, thank Glad you so you much. Glad you could be here. Flame yeah. spur me. Flame cleanse me. Flame kiss me. I don't think I've ever looked at the flame spur me gesture. We got to keep erudition and spread out. I think calm down. We can switch out. Flame fire spur me even. Let's check this one out. Oh, is this the chest pound one? Yes. Damn. Are you Matthew McConaughey? This is such a powerful image. Everyone take this powerful image forward with you Let into the holiday you. season. Into 2023. What's my end game weapon going to be? Um, it might, I'm not even decided entirely yet. It might be the, uh, the giant slayer hammer thing. I think it's called the giant killer. It's the big ass hammer. You know, the one maybe I'll, I'll do like a big hammers dual wield situation. Uh, okay. Now we're going to smoldering church. Ooh, we're going on a little religious pilgrimage here, huh? Because we, we left some business undone over here. <laughs> I just realized because of chat that I said fire spur me, but everyone's typing spur me? Fire spur me? It's not. And that it's is... Not, though. I, I, I'm here's the, the thing. Mods. I'm sorry to the mods, but that is funny. Fire spur me is funny. But you have to stop saying it now for the mod's sake. Uh, we're going to put on flame cleanse me because we do still have enough faith to cast flame grant me strength and flame cleanse me. So that's that's nice at least. So previously I came to this church and I said we were going to come back because Anastasia the Tarnished Eater is here. Mm -hmm. And at that time, she would have wrecked me. Yeah. But at this time, I have come to wreck her. Oh, damn. I am the one who wrecks now. She's going to she's gonna pop up here any second now. Just give her, just give her a moment. Just give her a second. Here she comes. She's like, oh, sorry. I was in the bathroom. What's up, sucker? Oh, you don't like that, do you? Watch out! Watch out! I'm swinging! The hell? You're like a saw trap. All of you are so cute. Recusant vanquished. Damn, it feels so good to vanquish a recusant. You ever vanquish a recusant? Uh, okay. Now we're taking a, we're taking a big, we're taking a big ride. We're going to come to here and we're going to ride up to meet a new friend, a new person. 
Okay. At least. This was where I farmed up this armor set, was this location. Oh. Because there's one guy right there who drops it, and there's another one around the corner. Very dramatic entrance. Sapling Draws said, Julia's Dark Souls run got me into FromSoft games, and now I have all the plat trophies in it and obsessed. Oh my god. Oh, look at that skull. That's amazing. I love the big skull. It's so cool. That's very cool. Thank you for, I don't know. Thank you for being a friend. Yeah, for watching and being cool. And also, I'm sorry, I guess. I knew there was a grace over here somewhere. My, my freaking grace sense was going off. It's a grace. Give it a little touch. I love Caleb because of how much people hate it. It really is like the first time you come here when you play the game for the first time. It's like an absolute nightmare, especially because most people get here by getting um, warped through that like trapped chest and it puts you just right in the middle of like the scarlet rot swamp. And so you come out and you're just like, what is this? There's like those horrible dogs. And birds. Sell your gateway and free my soul. Like that dog. The big dog. The dogs are really funny looking. I'm gonna I'm gonna clown on him. Ah. Oh Damn. Oh no! You fucked around with the wrong person, big dog! Big dog, it was a mistake! Olive, it's okay. He's just excited about the big doggy. Sorry, I was just having fun, Olive. You were just having fun. Uh, okay, this was who we're coming to see. Sitting like a totally normal dude would sit. In a standard way. He's offering you a red pill and a blue pill. Oh, a pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gary, a great sage. It's good in my day, day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret, I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Over there? That town? I'll hear the request. Yeah, why not? Ah, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to I heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. Damn. The rotting sickness that afflicts Millicent has no cure. When the Erd Tree flourished, even the demigods could not stave off its effects, despite their nigh godhood. But Millicent's suffering can be ameliorated. For this, you are to find a certain needle. Seek the deep scarlet swamp of Aeonia outside Celia's bounds. The needle, made from unalloyed gold, is lost somewhere there. Dude was playing that hand slapping game and he lost so bad. He just like collapsed. <laughs> he lost the feeling in his hands. He just like fell. And he just, like, <laughs> First, you must find the unalloyed gold needle. Okay. It's hidden somewhere. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's in the swamp. I got it. Dude just sitting in an abandoned home or shack surrounded by T-Rex dogs. He's like... I, my only concern in this world is an unalloyed needle. Have you found the needle that I was telling you about? I think it would be really neat if you got this needle. I'm trying to not think about my surroundings. It's not drugs. <laughs> That's all I'll say. It's not I love drugs. The sky here. It's all like red and different colors of it. Yeah, this is the, the bad town swamp. Yeah. And we want to hit. Whoa! We want to hit this grace right over like here. Florida. This grace, a very in a very normal place that we love. I love the town in the distance and the skull. Oh, that's very good. Very good comp. Comp position. Oh, 
We'll take a quick rest here. Am I summoning for O'Neal? I will be summoning for O'Neal, but I'm not fighting him just yet. O'Neal? Yeah, O'Neal is, is, is coming up. O'Neal no, is just such a funny name to have in this game. We're going to the Celia Crystal Tunnel. Which is where I'll be summoning for the first one. Is it is it there? Or is it the other way? I think it's the other way. There's something down here. I think it's the big ball of heads. Is that what's down here? Worms are certainly here. Some crystals? Yes, yeah, the big ball of heads. And a somber smithing stone five, I'll take that. All right, I gotta go, actually. That guy's having a great time. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> Y'all have fun, okay? I mean, you don't play with your cats, so your cats decide to have fun without you. They're gonna make their own fun. I was like, who's that little person? There's a statue. There's a statue, yeah. I was excited for a see, new little over friend. Here? What Thanks. in the world is that? What was that Euro that was ambulating? Don't worry about that. Another Euro! Oh, less like a Euro. It's over here. More like a giant ass barnacle. So when you get trapped and like sent here, if you get that trap treasure chest early in the game, and you, you get sent to this tunnel, which is way above your level, mm -hmm. and then when you come out for the first time, like this is your view. Your You're first, punished and then punished. Your first view of Kaled is this view, which is like truly nightmarish looking. Yes. Very, very good setup. I have something unfortunate to say. Yes. Every time you kick up your little feet and the bottom of your feet are shown to us, it looks like Kermit's feet. Oh yeah, we got little like, like duckbill booties. Yeah, it looks like little frog feet. They help me do jumps. And I just keep looking at them. Just gotta grab this real quick. Just a little rock grease. Duck feet, woo! All right, I'm gonna be summoning at this grace right here, right now. Let's go. Nice. I see some names. Whoa! Oh, we, we know this person. The you maiden. You maiden. We've I know we've maiden. summoned you before. Let me see if I can get some new ones. Zara, we have not summoned. Zara, I would remember work. that face anywhere. I Apparently, so said. I'm glad we have shoes now. You see, you got to appreciate the little things. The little things in life. Um. Look at how fast you can move this. Wow! Damn, that's core strength. I think Olive has just like perished in my life. Whoa! There we go. Yeah, Olive's really laid out. She's enjoying it. All right, now let's get Sin. Sin. Sin of Sin's Fortress? Oh, they disappeared. Oh, no, they're back. Oh my God. Wow. Zara, calm down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can do that too. <laughs> Quite synchronized. Yeah! Ooh. There you go. How's that? Oh, here he comes. Damn, it's Katana City up in here. Not for you, though. We got Nagakiba here. We got the the Inosuke jagged one over here, the name of which I don't remember. Cool. Blood perdition. Oh, he's doing it. Let me do it with him. Invaded by bloody finger Kim Brambles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kim Brambles. Show yourself if you dare, Kim Brambles. Where are you? You coward. Go ahead, Jara. Get up there. See if Kim Brambles is up there for me. Kim Brambles. 
Kim Brambles. Kim Brambles. There's Kim Brambles. Oh, they're gonna run deeper in, I see. All right, don't, don't get too caught up. We gotta still take these guys out. Oh, oh this is the place with the frickin' bugs. We gotta get the bugs. Getting the bugs is top priority. There's these bugs, you see. Oh, yeah. The multi-hand. Kim? Ah! The dudes that look like the, um... Oh, my God. The mantis lords. Kim Brambles! Don't you dare, Kim, Kim Brambles. Kim waiting for chaos to be at its maximum. This is absolute... Insanity. I gotta kill this freaking bug. Oh, you don't like that, do you? I like the little noise it makes. <laughs> Some smithing stone five. Kim is dead. Kim is dead. Good Kim job, has been team. Vanquished. Oh, the ads are running. All right, well. Just hang out, everyone. Hang out. Ads are running. Now that Kim is dead. Now that Kim is dead. You know, I have, I have the knife that uh, what's her face was using, and I would get it, except that olives in my lap. I don't know what you're talking about. What uh, knife? The person, the person that invaded at the church, the lady, and you were like, if we had come here sooner, we would have gotten red. Uh huh. You have that knife. Yeah. I okay. Have her sword as a tiny knife. I'm going to read the subs while you're doing that. We got subs from Neil Antonin, Reaver Royale, Boodle Doodle, Pierce FC9, Please Draw Watsune Miku, Jinxy Shark, Song Sprite, Yumberry, One Cute Canine, Muffin Cups, Ezra Ordinary, Garrulous Monolith, Mini, oh, excuse me, Mini Stroni, SK Nora 75, Arterius Soul, Sucks at Naming, Arch Sanity. Oh, you found it. There it is. Uh, Zipora, a hot gay robot, gelatin boy, baby dragon age, general snow fluff, Emilinia, fine sunny day gave out five gifted subs, tiny dragon on fire, Dr. Mollusk, Baskerville Hound 98 gave out five gifted subs, oh Papa Beans, Mooney Bug, my mistake gave out five gifted subs, TKO musician, fine sunny day again, sick madness, solo Azume, dandelion, lady gage, noodle moodle, pate like, Shimada 16, Inauspicious Mango, Feed Me Burritos, Cube is Horse, Coquettish Hope, Bento the Ordinary, Toast 42, Sire Londiel 13, Nick Knack, Max and Axum, Agons D, Augustals Beyond, nope, August Lesbian, <laughs> <laughs> not Augustals Beyond, Augustals Beyond, Unbelievable. Adria Pares gave out 50 gifted subs. What the heck? Holy shit. Thank you so much. My God. Wow. Thank you. That's wild. That's so many. Um, I dropped my controller. Cosmoasis, JT Barnett, LEZM, Maccabee137, Rady K gave out five gifted subs. Ozzy Belafron, the bottom hat, generic drawfy reference, Depressy Bessie. Katie Cat Magic, Cookbook for Stars, Librarian 2, The Appendix, Ranny Art, Open 24-7, Sea Frogger, The Silence of Hell, Sleepy Kitty Cat gave out five gifted subs, Ryan Tony Art, Pinky Punchy, that's all from today, and let's get the new ones. We got a message from whoever is playing Zara. I can only see a reply to it, but... What'd they say? Uh, if you keep scrolling up... Oh, there. Psycho Colors. I'm Zara. I'm so happy I finally got summoned. I've been trying every stream. Oh, nice. Thanks I'm glad you trying. got summoned, too. Uh, we also got subs from Boodle Doodle, Reaver Royale, um, Rady K, Peach Pup, Jazzare, The Jolly Fish, Waxillium and Wayne, and Toasted Toasters, and a gifted sub from One Cute Canine. Thank you all so much. Back to the game. Thank we got you. We got people waiting on us here. Oh. Please draw Watsune Miku gave out two more subs. Oh, thank you. And Physics God 95. And Moon Baby. Thank you. Let's go, gamers. We live. Moon Baby. Moon Baby. I got to be sure to pick up all these smithing stones.
Got to make sure we get all the smithing stones. This is going to be crucial for me. Just got to move the mantis lords out of the way. Just got to move the mantis lords and we'll get the stones. Don't need those stones. Y'all are doing great. I'm very proud of you. We can't get through there, I don't think. Any stones down there? Y'all got any stones down there? If you do, you got to tell me. You legally have to tell me. You legally have to tell me. I see a stone. You tried to hide it underneath a broken barrel, but it didn't work. Ooh, what's that? Little rune, rune, little arc. rune arc action. Um, we don't want to go that way because that will kill us. Oh. <laughs> we want to go this way. Huh. Ooh, Zara knew. Zara was waiting. Zara knows. Zara's an Zara's expert. Zara's leading the way, leading the charge. Leading the charge. Beautiful, powerful. You know, with two heads, they truly know so much. Oh, they no! Have double the knowledge. You piece. Nice. Gonna keep topped up. No need to be risky here. What? You are they're trying to lie to me, tell me there's a secret passage? I know there's not. Go ahead, Sen. I keep thinking Sen's name is Seth. And that's go, very go funny. ahead, Seth. Good job, Seth. Somber Smithing Stone 4. Y'all are doing great. One cute canine says my first SSS stream tonight. Nice. More stones! Oh my god! The I'm gonna stones. do so much smithing with these stones. Wow. Rock blaster. I love hearing your team pop off where you're just like, ooh, Quenja. Ooh, a little bit of loot for me. Don't mind if I do. Anybody got any rocks and your team's like popping off, killing everything? They're just clearing the way so that when I show up, I don't have to do anything. Take that somber stone, don't mind if I do. Eli ZM says my first stream too. I'm hoping to get my sweet cosplay summoned. I think that's Ellie. What? Ellie ZM. Oh, sorry, I can't. I'm like. Yeah, I don't have the chat on your side right now. I should fix that. It's okay. It's low on the list of priorities. I was trying to run up and help Faithful's Canvas Talisman. Our team is too effective. That's the talisman I would have been using if we had kept the old build. Mm. If we had kept to the old ways. Ellie says, thanks Jacob for getting my name right. No one ever does. Wow, look at me. Um, hello. What the hell? <laughs> they're leaving. Dvirk Wraith. Oh, they're trying to lure you into a hallway, huh? Don't play his game. Play your game. This is how France lost. Watch out. I can spin. Once we catch you, it's all over, Buster. Don't make us run all the way back through the whole dungeon. Don't do it. Don't, we're not. We're not. not we're follow. not following this guy. Do not follow. Oh, Sin already followed. We cannot abandon Sin. We follow. We go to the ends of the earth. That was a hit. Come on. Wasted our damn time. <laughs> a 
Where did he even go? Play tag in the crystal tunnel. Oh, hey, a rock. All right. Where did where is Sen? We've lost we've lost our son. We've lost our son. Oh, there he is! You you dastard. You villain. This isn't you're not fun. You're not fun, sir. You're just annoying. Oh, you tried to leave, huh? All of a sudden, you want to leave! Get his ass! You're not leaving Punish here! Him. You're not leaving here, motherfucker! Try to come in, troll, and leave. Good job, team. Good job, squad. Excellent work. Um, someone asked, can dastard be used as a noun? It can archaically. Dastardly deed. You can call someone a dastard, but it's not like used anymore. But I think it's funny. Okay, let's actually finish this dungeon now. <laughs> Gotta run all the way back. Go back to the boss room. I will say he did survive a long time against three people. Yeah. But at what cost? You ready, team? Let's do this thing. Oh, this is the Falling Star Beast. This dude does hit pretty hard, so be careful. Does he hit as hard as you? He's kind of walking and shocking. Ow! No! Who did we lose? I told you to be careful! Zara! We've lost Zara. Whoa! Oh, just missed. Be careful, Sin! Sin! I can't lose now after all that? Son of a... Hats off for Zara, please. I'm stuck. I can't see. Oh, come on, dude. Are you kidding me? What Pokemon is this? Jacob. This is a bad scene. It was tough. You had an invader. You had to fight the beast. We got to do it again. It's all right. We, that just means we have to summon more people. In some ways, things are much easier when you summon people, but in other ways, it's harder. In what way? Because the bosses become way less predictable. Oh. Yeah. Because I soloed that boss on my practice playthrough before doing this playthrough. Mm -hmm. like, and it was not that hard because I knew what all the moves were going to be. Yeah. But it's like when they're constantly changing targets, it's a little hard sometimes to know what who they're about to hit. And it does increase their health pool too. That's okay. We'll just get a new party. We'll do it again. I did have a lot of souls though. Who's this? Vinick Sindenfell. 
Are we you can't our lose. champion? We can't lose with someone like you on our side. That was a, a good, solid team, though. So good work, everyone. Yeah, and the fun part is it just means we get to play with more people, so. Venic. Oh, I like your, is that like the God Slayer skin flare? I think that's what you use to clean your teeth. With the Crazy things. Gary. <laughs> wow. Oh, we got this one. This one's on lock. This one's on lockdown. I think that's the thing that dentists use to clean your teeth, by the way. They got freaking God Slayer, Slayer, Slim Flayer, and the doubles <laughs> katana, Darth Maul's doubles katana. That's three blades. Hi, Olive. That's four blades. There's a blade on the other end of this thing. You want to come up here? Okay. Crazy Gary. Crazy Gary. Come on, man. Crazy Gary. Oh, look at him. He's crazy. <laughs> this dude's crazy. That is so Gary to be doing that. That is exactly what Gary would do. Gary, what you fighting with? Fists? Gary, do you have a like a talisman in each hand? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what <clears throat> crazy Gary's up to? Gary, listen, whatever you think. I believe in Gary. Oh, you Gary's do. running off. It's okay, Gary, we got this. We can. We don't have to do so much stopping this time. We can run. Did someone just die? Oh no, they're killing people, okay. We gotta run right on what? up and get this bug. You wanna move this? Don't be scared. Cause these bugs will hound you until your dying day. You know what's fun between our two cats? If there's something in this spot over here where they like to lay, Joy comes over and she's like, move this. We and got invaded. Like, yeah. Oh, good. Sorry to interrupt what you were saying. It's okay. Olive comes over and she's like, mm, what do I do? <laughs> yeah. They're very different creatures. She just looks around like she doesn't know how to deal with it. I think if we just like hoof it to the boss room. Ow. <laughs> you got bugged. You didn't have to hit him that hard. He deserved it. He's just a bug. Yep. Yep. Oh, crazy Gary. He's shooting his crazy beam. Wow. He just barfed on that guy. Get him, crazy Gary. All right, we're just going to rush right in and fight the boss. We don't have to mess around with this invader. Just run right through, run right through. Come on, friends. Falling star beast, you piece of shit. Is he a fallen star? Because he looks like a meteorite. I'm gonna let you focus on him. Crazy Gary is absolutely obliterating this dude. Yeah. Did you see that shit? Crazy Gary's popping off. Oh, we got him down. We got him down. Oh my god. He's dead. Hey, um, Crazy Gary? Was that the Frenzied Flame or something? Yeah, what Crazy was Gary was doing all the Frenzied Flame things. Gary, honestly, you blew my freaking mind. <laughs> Crazy Gary. Crazy Gary, go off. <laughs> Gary's insanity did it for us. Sometimes... I feel like, like that's my mood sometimes where I'm just popping off and fire spewing all over the place. Wow, unbelievable. Great work. I'm getting out of here. Good job, team. I'm getting the heck out of here. Not to, I don't mean to curse. Wow. Yeah, strong language. Uh, we will be taken down by YouTube for this. Uh, this is the grace I'll be summoning at next. I'm going to go to the table real quick. Swamp of Aonia. Just because I want to see if I can upgrade my sword. And I want to give that new, that new bell bearing that I just got. The reason we fought that beast was because it gives you the bell bearing and lets you buy 
higher level stones from the lady. How do you think you find that off the corpse? He has like a little pouch on him and you find the pouch. And yeah, like, and he was keeping it. Yeah. Smithing stone three is what I need. Well, we'll be able to buy those. You need Gary level weapons. <laughs> do we have two chairs, two beers this evening? Not this evening. We have no. two chairs. I had a pretty killer headache today, so I didn't want to have a beer. I'm having a seltzer. And I'm having some hot cocoa in my Gundam mug. Here you go. Take this and take this and take this and take this. And then some water I put in an old Picari sweat bottle. Is it in here? Balthazar the Red says, I was Venic Sindenfall with the Twin Blades and boy howdy. Did I get showed up by Crazy Gary? Thanks for summoning me in. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. I loved your dentistry tools. I thought that that was the one that let us buy smithing stones three and four. Did it not? Is that the one that lets us buy somber smithing stones? Wrong bearing. Oh, man. Oh, dang it. Oh, dookie. Who are these people? Oh, well. That's fine. We don't need to upgrade. Why would I need to upgrade? Because I think Crazy Gary is stronger than me and I'm jealous. I think someone's telling you where to get it. Yeah, we're not there yet though, Julia. How can I get it if we're not there yet? Hi, Joy. Do you want to be nicer to me? <laughs> Are you going to be nicer to me? Or are you just going to be a jerk like your father? I'm going to do a summon. I'm going to do a summon. I'm going to do a summon. Who's this? <laughs> Unchowder is what I assume it says. It makes it so much worse that it gets... Yeah. That it gets censored when it's nothing. Because then I'm like, it seems like it's a, a worse word somehow. Don't you love the audio of this area? Pretty good. Let's go! I like that dude that's walking in the back. Yeah, don't worry about him. I saw this person first. Briar. Briar. Come join us, Briar. Is this the cosplayer? Why are, there, why are these cats I don't know. like Fighting. congregating on top of my soundboard? I don't know. This is why I pushed for us to get a cover for the soundboard. Because I didn't trust them. Well, really, I didn't trust them to not bark on it. Oh, Briar is a hot gay robot. Oh, hey. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. All right. I'm, as I'm sure you're well aware. Um, hot gay robot. We're going to go and kill um, Commander O'Neill, okay, who's really down not. here. Is that like a near? Is that 2B? 2B. Or 9s? Cats, can you stop doing what you're doing? Because I'm worried you're about to like ruin everything. Olive is like straddling the soundboard right now. Olive just Get you with one <laughs> of these. almost pressed a button. Get you with one of these. <laughs> what the fuck? What in the world? What just happened to me? Huh. It doesn't Olive. help that these cats are everywhere. Olive, move. <laughs> she keeps almost pressing a button. All right, well, we'll resummon. Same bonfire, we'll resummon. Crazy Gary wouldn't have lost. Oh, while it's back. <laughs> yeah, go get Briar, you can come back. You didn't get to do your your justice.
Yeah, I've played Elden Ring a ton of times, so I don't really need advice unless I ask for it. Sometimes you just die because it's that's the game. Yeah. Let's see if I can locate our other friend. Was it you? Why can't I touch your summon sign? Why can't I touch any summon signs? Hello? What's happening? Why can't I touch summon signs? I think this is them. Yeah, this is them. Why can't I touch the summon sign? What do you mean? <laughs> What's, it? What's going on? Might be getting invaded. That would suck. Invasion. <sighs> All right, yeah. Briar, let's just go do it. Let's just go get it done. Me and you. Such a cool look. Oh, I still didn't level up, did I? Not this time. I forgot how much Dimaggio everyone does in this game to you. I'm handling these. Briar, you handle the boss. Watch out for the Scarlet Rot. So what happens to your brain when you're you have a bad English teacher who explains Scarlet Letter to you by the book. You get the Scarlet Rot. Yeah. All right, here we go. Don't do that. We're coming in. We're missing. Get out of there. Don't rot me, bro. Oh, He's down. Get him, Briar. You deserve it, Briar. Finish the fight. Yes. Yes, Briar. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, 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 yes. And of course, he had the unalloyed gold needle we were looking for for some oh, yes. reason. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I got Scarlet Rot, huh? Well, this is why I have flame cleanse me. That's not how you use it. This is how you use it. This is how we use it. This is how we use it. All right, this time we'll actually level up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get some more vigor. Let's get Since some the more. Since the name O'Neill popped up, I had the O'Reilly song stuck in my head. What's the O'Reilly song? O'Reilly's, the commercial, the O'Reilly's commercial. I'm not familiar with that commercial. Okay. I don't think that was a, is it an old commercial? It wasn't here either, but it became like a meme. It became a meme. I don't know it. It's the auto parts. Auto parts. I found out about it because of the monster factory of Second Life where he becomes the, the mayor of Second Life. And uh, he goes to a place where they're just playing the O'Reilly's ad. Oh, I mean, I've seen that, but I don't, I just don't remember. And then I got curious and then I looked up the O'Reilly's ad and then it came up again recently when someone had the O'Reilly's singers perform the O'Reilly's commercial at their wedding. <laughs> Whoa. All right, just gonna kill Gallery's dog real quick. I missed. Didn't miss that time. My God. We're not gonna have you mess up the proceedings, dog. Gallery, I got your needle all by myself with no help. Oh, you found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here it's like he's gesturing to his crotch it's yours 
You want if the secret I, of Celia? If I had a little bit more uh, vim and vigor, I'd do the whole like, yeah. Yeah, thing. but I can't but move. I, I can't. I've been waiting too long and no, my hip muscles have atrophied. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan, a meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Can you give me as well made? I will Don't give point you. That sword at me. I will give you exactly one reload's worth of time with it. I, so I have a, it's like in the corner, it's in the fog corner of my mind. I have a sound bite of someone saying artisan in my head, and I can't place what it's from. Artisan. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I feel like I've heard it said that way several times from like British people. I think it's like a Disney movie or something. Hey, Gowrie, did you figure it out? I have awaited your return. <laughs> wow. The right. needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. I think it is Moulin Rouge. Someone got it in one. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Lovesick asked if I know what happens when you kill Gowrie during a certain part of his quest progression. I do. If you kill him, his corpse is a bug. He's like a disguised bug. Do you that find rules. That peculiar? that I would show such concern for the girl. Well, I'm the one that found her, a mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters, but the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> is it bugging you? Ha <laughs> ha! Now, all you need to do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Convalescing is illegal. So, and you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course. It's now, a sin. What are you talking about? It's a sin. Is this a reference to something? It's a convalescing. I've not followed you, and so I need to know what you're thinking. <laughs> what are you thinking? I don't know. What, why are you, did you say convalescing is a sin? You're not allowed to convalesce out of wedlock. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... What are you talking about? I don't know. Yeah, were you thinking me. copulating? <laughs> is that what you were thinking? Probably. Now she's come do so. <laughs> well, sometimes you just say something and I'm like, it sounds like she's followed a train of logic, but I don't know what it is. Sometimes you just don't acknowledge it, let go. And I thought that would be one of the times. Well, you can never, you can never know for sure. Welcome to Celia, town of sorcery. Can I take your order? Don't shoot me. Don't don't shoot me. Is this where all the computer nerds live? Like Silicon Valley? I explained to that joke. <laughs> that one was also good. <laughs> Another good one. All Somehow right. I don't think so. Who's that? Is that Joy Cat? So if you read Gallery's note, it just basically tells you that the secret of Celia is that there's some frickin' lanterns. And oh, you gotta okay. light them. You gotta light the lanterns. Lantern. Let me up. <laughs> Climb a ladder, horse. So we light the lanterns, and then we can go through the passageway and go get to Millicent. 
and give her the needle. And it does require a fair amount of horse parkour, which, you know, of course I love. I didn't summon my horse, I just whistled. That happens sometimes. Sometimes you like to just whistle. Let me up. Then we go this way. And then we gotta go, go, go. Nice save. Go. I wasn't expecting you to bring Ooh. him on back. I'm an expert horseman. You get really used to controlling the horse to do stupid things in this game. Put Torrent in the Olympics. Yeah, Torrent would win the dog show, no problem. The dog show. Could you imagine him going through the obstacle course? That's true. Yeah, I was thinking the uh, the the Olympic thing of like equestrian show jumping or whatever it's called. Yeah, I was thinking of the dog show. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Get up there. Olympic dog show. The Olympic dog show. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dressage. Flames lit. Now we go. Someone wrote as our fir bake. first time chat to acknowledge a fellow Muppet Christmas Carol enjoyer. And that's beautiful. That is beautiful. That I has like that. Such Muppet fan energy that like they're, they were cool. <laughs> they're cool with just like hanging back and then someone expresses that they like the Muppets and they're just like, so some Muppets. They're like, I can remain silent no longer. Yeah. My time has come. Because I feel that so deeply. All right, so now we got to go up um, this freaking Mario Kart, like Chaco Mountain area where they're going to be like rolling boulders at us and shit. It's kind of funny. It's like a Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Like the original Donkey Kong. It's like Mario Kart Chaco Mountain. You think you can get me with a couple of orbs. You're barking up the wrong tree. And that's the church we're heading to right there, guarded by those bugs. We should watch Muck in the Christmas Carol again. Okay. It's a good movie. It is a good movie. The bugs are doing a bad job of guarding though, because you can just come in from the side. Ooh. Oh, I, yeah, and this here's is another Millicent. one of my favorite characters. Millicent's one of the best characters in yeah. the game. Undoubtedly. Millicent and the lady that's in round table hold right now are tied for my faves. Get a little boost. <laughs> Don't worry, Millicent. We're going to help your ass. Your arm. Who's there? We're not going to help your arm, but we will help your ass. That is not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. That sucks. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. I am no man. Yeah, I had scarlet rot too. I just used flame cleanse me. <laughs> Have you ever heard of flame cleanse me? Have you ever tried the flame? I give you the needle. You ask that I stab myself with the needle. To quell the scarlet rot, but how? <laughs> Never mind. I've decided. Listen, dog, I was going to die anyway. You yeah. Then simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? Yeah, okay. They make you respect her choice. <laughs> Damn. Because they, be they know that you must respect Millicent. They're like, it's not an option to disrespect her. Okay. No. That was easier than expected. But why do I feel so... She's got the same haircut I do. We're both rocking the nasty. Oh, I see. We went to the same stylist. <laughs> but she's about to get a glow up. Once we reload. Did you also go to Supercuts? Oh, look at her now. Oh, damn. 
She's I cleaned up. The confidence. Thanks to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. She Every gets vaxxed. As you said, <laughs> since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. That's a fever. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Get vaccinated, Not everyone. That I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this by way of thanks. A token, though it is. Thank you for the prosthesis wearer heirloom. Interesting that that's something you have. <laughs> considering you don't have a prosthesis yet. A little predictive prosthesis talisman. I'm considering leaving. On a jet plane. With the needle buried in my flesh. You left it there? Girl. Cool, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. Oh, hey, Joy. Same. I'm considering the yeah, okay. my destiny. So then, you ready for Millicent's incredible disappearing trick? She's gone. Damn, that was a good trick. She was like, I'm considering leaving on a journey. Zoom! <laughs> Oh, do you, do you need to sit in my lap specifically, Joy? She did the thing like betrayal at Club Low. Yeah, she rockets away. <laughs> so now, of course, where would she go if not back to Gallery's shack? You know what I'm saying? A little Gallery shack action. Gallery shack action. I heard the food at Gallery Shack is good. It got closed down for a... I shouldn't have done Radio Shack to <laughs> I hear the electronics at Gallery Shack <laughs> are good. The HDMI cords there are the best in the business. Amazing that we found an open location of Gallery Shack. I thought they all closed. There we go. There it is. I don't, I didn't mean to be in Selly, a town of sorcery. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. Now get out of our town. I meant to go to Gowrie Shack. Just gotta kill Gowrie's dog real quick. Poor Gowrie's dog. <clears throat> Gowrie's dog can mess with you while you're talking to Gowrie if you get unlucky. So I make sure Gallery's dog can never do it. And look Ooh. who it is, it's Millicent. Where's Gallery? Oh, hello again. Something about All this of his place sneezing? felt oh, no. familiar to me. So I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find someone here. But Bug? I've only found emptiness. Perhaps before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. It's just Olive, Joy. It's just her sister. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For Her pupils are like you to thank. I must stay strong. <laughs> well, I must. I must. What's that on your face, Millicent? Just sort of a, a scar. It's like a white tattoo or something. I've got scar tissue on my face too. Oh, nice. We're like the same. We're the same, you and I. What color eyes do you have? Gold. Golden, yellowish. Look at mine. Look at. We can't. Look at. Do we have eyes? I think mine might be really dark, actually. <laughs> Anyways, go on your journey, Millicent. I will reload the game to give you time to run away as fast as you can. Are Joy and Olive actually sisters? Yes. Sister, they're sister. From, they're from the same litter, which is why they look so similar. I'm sorry, I tried to pet you. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Can I pet you? Hey, look who's back. Ah! Gallery's back at Gallery's Shack. I'm going to be Gowrie Shack if Gowrie wasn't there. Thank you kindly. 
for giving the needle to Millicent. Now she too can begin her journey and stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and through. Thank you. Voice is As so thanks, familiar. I vow to impart to you my knowledge. Thank you. Of the lost sorceries of the Selians, descendants of the Eternal. Thank you. Hey, Millicent paid a visit here. Were you aware? Oh, you noticed, did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, I've found the best way to aid the young. The heck? Is to be forgotten. It's a ghost of me. Got a couple spells, that's all? You, you got three spells? That's your big gift you're giving me? Please make certain that little Millicent goes unharmed. Like her mother, she has the stuff to be a great warrior, but commands only one arm and is yet preciously young. You know, I never... Like, the phrase, she commands only one arm... It's very cool. I never like refer to myself as commanding my arms. I guess if you're a bug in command of a human body, you would refer to it as being in command of a limb. Maybe so. Maybe I'm going to start saying that I command two arms. Makes me feel like a Voltron, like a human Voltron. All right, we're done with this little spot. We're going to Fort Faroth now. This dude is in Dark Souls 3 and Sense8. Oh. Sense8 is probably what I know him from because I do not know much. Dark Souls 3. We're going to go get us a map. Map fragment. It's time to map it up. Map it up, Buttercup. Map it up, up, up. Map it up, up, up. We're gonna tiptoe through the tulips. Get this map fragment. Watch out for that dragon. Dragon, I have no qualms with you. My dude. I am both an Eva and an Eva pilot. Yeah, exactly. It's so windy here. Yeah. It can be like that here sometimes. Just gonna get my little map. I picked up Satisfactory again. I started a new map. Um, I don't remember it raining in that game, but it's been raining a lot in my current one. So that's interesting. My next instruction says warp chamber outside. Chamber outside and then speak to NPCs. Chamber outside. What am I referring to? Does someone know what I'm referring to? I don't remember. Is it up here? Chamber outside. Chamber outside something. Radon Festival, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank Chamber you. outside the plaza. Thank you, Nick Knack. Thank you, thank you. Howdy, folks. Where are you summoning next? Do you know? We're going to fight Radon. Okay. If you want to be summoned to fight Radon, you know where to go. It's Radon Fest. I love this place. I love the ceiling right here. Um, do I... Is this the Halo song? It's very Halo-esque. I think to fight Radon, maybe I don't summon people. I don't know for sure if I need to have them summoned in the fight in order to get their quest lines continued. Does anyone know for sure? Like, do I have to summon up Alexander and, and Blythe in order for them to 
finish their thing. You don't need them summoned. You don't have to. You don't okay. have to. Okay. Great. Then I will summon people. I think I have to do it, if I recall, after I cross, after I go down the thing and cross the sands. Anyway, let's talk to everyone first. Starting with my husband. Ah, there you are. Took your sweet time. <laughs> the players are all made up. I'm waiting for the curtain. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? Just don't you go dying on me. For Ronnie's sake, too. You got it. Once more into the fray together, eh? <laughs> this might even be fun. <laughs> it will be fun. Hi, Joy. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. You can't quite see her on camera, but she's staring at me. She just looks up all the way up at him. And her eyes get so tiny. She just Once waits. More. <laughs> all right, then. Who's um, this lady? She doesn't speak and she doesn't talk. She just bows. She doesn't speak and she And she talk? gives you the polite bow gesture. Okay. Do she we... like tries to heal you if you summon her up. Do we know anything else about her? Do we get another quest line with her? I don't, just I don't think so. Welcome. Howdy, gamer. The stars have aligned. The festival is nigh. General Radan, mightiest demigod of the shattering, awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory. Ah, that's right. And grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radan Festival. She's one of Celevis's puppets. Um, That's why she doesn't speak nor talk. Gotcha. What's up, Alexander? Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think. I could face a great champion of the shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby. Yeah, you'll unflinchingly brave the ordeal. I got you, buddy. Uh, we'll get done talking to everyone, and then we'll probably run ads before we actually do the fight, so that they don't catch me unawares again. Hello, gamer. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. I'm not ready yet. I have to run ads. When you are ready, come to me again. You got it. Okay, I'm going to run three minutes of ads. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get into the Radon fight. Here they come now. Don't kick my controller, Joy. Okay, ads are running. Where does one place one's teleport sign for this? I think it's like... It's like <laughs> after the warp, right? To go to There's Radon's like a warp thing. and then you're like on the, the beach and then you can summon there, as I recall. I did this fight with, uh, with Spencer. And it took us a, a bit to figure out where to summon. But I think it was just before the warp. Yeah, right before the teleporter. The beach before the warp. Yeah, that's it. And Radon is easier now than he was when I beat him with Spencer. They nerfed Radon. Which is not to say that I won't die. 
but it should be fun either way. Gracie B said it's been fun watching the stream with no Elden Ring knowledge or experience. Everything sounds so silly. Yeah, that's kind of part of the fun of these games too. Even when you know what you're talking about, it's still silly, but in like a good way. I've debated streaming Death Stranding for that exact reason before. Oh my God. Because it is so silly. Death Stranding is so silly. Oh, can we get face cam? Yeah. You can get face cam. Yeah. I got the camera angled a little too high. Oh, that's all right. So you can't see Joy. She's just, she's in my lap. You have to trust me. You have to trust me on this. You see her like just barely. I promise I'm not lying, okay? She's just under the camera. She's right there. It's true. From soft signature tone is dark absurdism. Yeah, I would agree with that. They're silly and sad and serious and funny. It's got it all. It's got it all, baby. You want to see the cat? I can't angle the camera because the cat's in my lap. You gotta be, you gotta be so careful. Why? I don't know. Just felt like something I should say. Just unscrew it a little bit there and it should then go down easy. There she is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this girl. Look at this girl. What about like there? We're going to get annoyed with how low that is after needs to go up just a bit. That should be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfectly done. And just in time for the ads to be over. Olive is so squished. Okay, let's start this frickin' festival, my man. I'm ready. Are you good and prepared, young Duff? I'm festival? good and prepared. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's watch the cutscene. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. Please do. All right. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But what's now, the horse's name? We must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions, the revels begin. The celebration of war. The Radon Festival. The horse's name is Leonard. This is not a joke. Really? Yeah. And the, the fun lore that everyone likes to talk about with the horse uh -huh. is that the reason Radon can ride the horse, even though it's so small, uh -huh. is because Radon learned gravity magic solely so he could still ride his favorite horse, even though he was too big for the horse. So he like basically uses his magic to float on the horse's back so that he can continue to ride his horse that he loves. At least the horse is appreciated and kind of taken care of, I guess. It's really funny and really good. And also this game, like most FromSoft games, does the cool thing where they're like, this dude is so strong and powerful and he beats your entire ass. And this is him like at his weakest he's ever been in his entire life. Yeah. Like you'll never know what he was like at like the height of his power, you know? Right, right. It still takes like you and all your friends to take him down now. 
And he's like pathetic at this point. Let me in! Uh, Draz said he also buries Leonard in the sand to protect him during some moves. That's very cute. I feel bad that we're about to beat his ass. Well, he is like suffering. Are those Christmas trees? It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Do they know it's Christmas? All right, so the summoning happens like right around here. So I will go ahead and pop a thing. Oh, look at that. Wow. These signs of gold. He's definitely harder to fight without the horse, so it's going to be tough, but I think it'll be fun. Who's this? Zorias. Oh, so cool looking. Very cool looking. Decked out like, uh, what's her name? That woman that we met who invited us to Volcano Manor. Oh, yeah. It's like doing like a cosplay of her. Raya, cosplaying Raya. Not Raya. This one's Raya. Oh, nice bow. Nice good bow. bow. Good bow, but please. I'm just doing this. But please, thank there you. There it is. Thank you. And then we have, of course, Beefarani. Beefarani, welcome in. Unable to summon. Sorry, Beefarani, your game probably crashed. Which means... <laughs> it's It's got to be Honks, right? Mommy Honks. Yeah. Because she has the horn. You gotta, you gotta get your censorship in order from soft, okay? It looks, mommy hawks is fine to say. Mommy asterisk asterisk NKS is not. That makes me concerned. Yep. Mommy hawks. Mommy hawks, yes! <laughs> Let's go. Girl boss gang, yes. We have a bard <laughs> with us. All right, squad, we ready? Let's do this thing. I love that the game's like, nah, we need a way for you to like activate the fight instead of crossing the water. There he is. He's like, oh shit. Who's on my beach? Whoop. Can I still summon them? Oh, I can. Ow. Well, not if you die. Great Horn Tar Tragoth, Okina, Okina Dokina. Let's get everyone in here that we can. Alexander, get in here, bud. Oh yeah, can't you summon, um... I gotta get Blythe. Pillbird or whatever, what's his name? Patches. Patches. Yeah, Pat there's a funny bit where if you summon Patches, he comes up and then he immediately desummons himself once he sees Radon. I mean, I would too, let's be fair. Get a little bit of this action it here, throw, Radon like, Spear. One rock. Oh, there's Patches. Well, I'll show you the Patches bit while everyone's fighting. Here's Patches. He goes forwards a bit. Y'all are, are doing great. Thought. There he goes. <laughs> then he's just like, mm, nah. Thanks, though. Thanks for the invite. All right, we're going to get involved in the combat. Okina has died. Theralina, get in here. Hey! It's Radon. It's good to win. Here's my question about the horse. Is this horse in a toxic relationship? Even though we're done pretty good to this horse, this horse is still suffering and should be alive for me. Right. 
We're getting sucked. He's sucking. Now he's pounding. He pounding. Whoa, bubble. Oh, that's a uh, mommy hawks. <laughs> One of mommy hawks's beautiful spells. <laughs> They're so slow. <laughs> Just waiting for my away. for my opportunity here. Oh, nice! You knocked him down. I'll take that. I'll take a swing on that. This fight seems so much easier than the first time you did this. Okay, he's launching. This is when he comes flying out of the heavens. I love that the music goes away. Where is he coming from? There he there is. There he is. He's on a shaky course there. He'll like one shot you if he gets you with that. Oh, he's got big rocks. Big rocks will mess you up so bad. Double big rocks, dude, calm down. I'm like not even fighting. I'm just sort of like Watching hanging it out. Cold. All right, let's 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 give him a little bit of this. Oh, he his booty. Let's give him a little bit of this. <gasps> Mommy honks, no! Mommy honks! Mommy! All right, we gotta run away. Ah! No! I'm really worried about those rocks. Pour one out for mommy honks. Bro. We loved the honks. Oh! He got me. He got me. We couldn't, we couldn't live without Mommy Honks. I didn't want to live without Mommy Honks. No. A world without Mommy Honks is a world I don't want to be in. Yeah, that movie does there is like easy if you're on your horse because you can just jump over it. I'm not sure what you do if you're not on your horse. <laughs> you use Julia's rock strats. Yeah. It's a rock strat. Rocks OP. All right, let's summon again. Every time you put your finger up, I think you're about to do like the Disney, like. Kaylana. Yeah. Unable to summon. Sorry, Kaylana. So, Arias, we just had you. We'll see if we can get some new ones in, some new blood. What? Like Das Herb. Who knows what the, the things are? Maybe it's Koch. I don't think they would censor Koch. You, you see the joke I'm trying to make. I see the joke you're trying to make, but it's not spelled like that. But like, it's my way of saying it without saying it. Like, maybe it's the act. Maybe it's, maybe it's how you would pronounce it right now. But I said it as Koch. I don't get it. I tried to do a clever one. Hello, Herb. Yeah! Oh, thank Aww. you. That's so nice. We'll this get Lunette. Head, huh? Lunette as well. Where are you from? France. We are from France. Everyone's saying it's probably Dastard Herb. Yeah. That'd be like a crazy coincidence though, right? If I said the word Dastard for like the first time ever in this stream and then this guy's name is Dastard Herb. Maybe they felt like they had to get involved after you said it. Lunette! Has anybody seen cone heads in the chat? This is a good party. I believe in this party. We can do it. I know we can. They confirmed. Wow. Dastard Herb is here and did confirm. Unbelievable. I know, I'm not Jacob, but that's okay. that's okay. Go ahead, shoot at me. Ow! I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Okay, he's he's blasting people right next to him now. I Come love on, squad! Everyone run in. <laughs> I know it's so funny. It's really good. 
Let's go, team. We're gonna get his ass. Dastard, watch yourself. Dastard! No, Dastard's okay. But I'm not. Rip. Rip Aroonies. You know we have a flood watch tomorrow? Why? Probably because of all the rain. The what? <laughs> We'll try again. This is just fun, because then we get to see people, you know? Kaylana, oh, let's see if we can get you in this time. Cool helmet. Normally when I fight Radon, I summon up everyone and then I ride away on my horse. Yeah, that is true. So he's definitely harder when you have to fight him. Yeah! <laughs> The helmet kind of looks like a tooth now that I'm looking at it like this. Jack! <laughs> oh, beautiful. It's If Jack's going to win it, I can tell. Yeah. Jack's going to win the fight. I think we're going to put on this full set. We're going to slow roll it in exchange for more damage mitigation. Yeah! Squad, 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 squad. All right, let's, let's, let's get him. Go! Don't pull my headphones out, please. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's go. <laughs> you can be just as loud. The volume wasn't what pulled the headphones out. <laughs> Ooh, saved by the Dibbers. Go ahead, shoot me. See if I care. It is really cool that he shoots you from so far away. Yeah, it's fun. I think it's really neat. <laughs> that was so many arrows. Kaylana got shotgunned. Don't know why I was bothered to summon patches. Oh, hello, you pissed at me? You what did I do? Everyone. You brought the squad. Oh my god! Wow, he's popping off, huh? Bro. You're acting embarrassing. Who perished? Radon, you're acting cringe, dude. <clears throat> Great Horn Tragoth has died. The orbs! He got orbed. <clears throat> oh, someone perished. Oh, he's flying. Where is he? I gotta run up the hill and summon people. Don't mind me. Get him, Jack. Jack and Kaylana, get him. I'm bringing back up, don't worry. Y'all are doing great. <laughs> Get Alexander back in here, Tragoth. Oh, yes. Kaylana! Jacob did run up that hill and made a deal with God, yes. It was correct. Kaylana, stay alive. Heal yourself, Kaylana. Kaylana. No! Drink the juice, Kaylana. Kaylana has perished. I'm so worried about those rocks. The rocks are worrying. The rocks make me not want to like hang out. 
What are you doing? I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> Y'all are doing great. Look at him. Ah! Look at him run. Oh yeah, I got my juice. I should drink my juice. That will help me survive. A rock's hit. A rock fact. Jack, you're killing it. My man. You're doing amazing. Oh god. Wow. Like oh drifting. god, I'm scared. Dragoth has died. No, no, stay away from me! He rocks. The big smash! Oh. Come on! What the fuck? Sorry, Joy. Why'd you even come after me? I didn't even do anything to you. Jack's alive though. What the fuck? He literally turned to me just to do his one move that kills me instantly. He's like, you know, elementary school bullies when they're when they're getting ganged up on and they're just like, let me go pick on the one that's just hanging out. And you're just like, all right. Shimada 16, you were Jack. You did great. You did wonderful. I'll, if I, I'll try summoning you up again later if we don't get if we don't get a win. Who's this? Who are you? Vaughn Lightwraith. Sure. A, tr a true hero. Come on in, buddy boy. Got us. This time I'm going to stay even further away. I'm going to stay on top of the hill. Just watch. Like, and I'm people... just going to watch. I'm just going to let the people... You have to win this one for me, okay? Like the people during the... Like the old wars... They would just sit on a hill and watch like the Civil War. Cool disc. Cool Destructo disc. But please do the dance. Thank you. Lady Banana Pants. Yes! We got this. This one's in the bag. The two of you are going to handle this. <laughs> Crazy Gary and Mommy Honks combo needed. <laughs> I ship them now. <laughs> Geraldine is the general commanding the troops. That's how it's going to be. Lady Banana Pants. All right. Okay, let's go squad. Go ahead. Nice try. Wow, fearless. It's so brave to run at something that big that's shooting at you. Just like up a hill with no cover. Yeah. Did I miss someone over here? Very World War II of you. Oh, yeah, there's an item over here. Got some spears. Alexander, oh I almost God. missed you, buddy. You missed Alexander. I love how Alexander runs. And that's that's patches, I know. I'm Alexander anyway. runs like Juru runs. Yeah, he's very slow. You can do it, it like, Alex. So thick. But Ugh. once he gets there, yeah. he's gonna do a header and knock it in. Whoa! I'm like Juru. All right, stay frosty, y'all. Lionel the Lionhearted has died. Wow, Owen Wilson's here. Right, he's getting ready to, to do his blast off. You go ahead. I'm going to run up that hill. Someone's asking you to have a heavy roll right now. I do have a heavy roll right now. Where is he? I'm scared. I'm alive. <laughs> Summon. Summon. Jaren, go get him. Oh my god! <laughs> Leave me out of it. I don't want any part of this. Why are you so close to me? I told you I don't want to be part of this. I want nothing to do with this fight. 
Alright, I'm gonna come get this summon. Oh, it's scary. Oh, it's scary. Get him! Get him! Get out of there! Lady Banana Pants, heal yourself! Good job. We're just gonna- we're just gonna peep it from over the hill? At a safe distance? She always stays with you and tries to heal you. Don't you dare. Vaughn Lightwraith you died. That's unfortunate. Could hit with the same move that killed me every time. No, y'all got this. Y'all got this. Oh yeah, I should drink my juice. Oh no, they got Alexander. Okay, I'm gonna circle around. Oh, there's some summons over here. Conveniently far away <laughs> from the fight. Yosh the third says, ah, I was spell casting. Sorry, I was wrong. You did great. Get back in here, Jaren. Have you seen what we've been doing? Lady Banana Pants died. Lady Banana Pants, no. It's fine. The NPCs you will handle it. You are in there, Banana Pants. Does this mean I can get on my horse? Oh, hell yeah. It's over, dude. We're out of here. <laughs> it's freaking over Bye. for you. We're going on a romantic ride on the beach. Go get them, gamers. Scud of Scud says, I was Lady Banana Pants and I did all I could. You, you did great. Let's, did get, let's get Blythe back in there. Everyone back in, back in, squad. We just keep outsourcing our... Our fight to other people. She's still here with us. Oh, hi, Okina. No, that's that's Theralina. Oh, sorry, Theralina. There goes my heroes. Watch them as they go. Oh, no. <laughs> no, dude. Look at that. Horse jump. Where are you going? Are you doing your little... You legally have to tell us where you're going. He's doing his big thing again. <laughs> I'm not getting hit by that. Are you kidding me? Stay away from me. He went on a magic <laughs> Stay away ride. from me! <laughs> Stay away from me! I am not here to fight you, okay? They are. <laughs> hey, look at him, he's coming! <laughs> Alexander, tank him! Get him, Alexander! Yes! Go, Alexander, go! Yes, Alexander. You're doing it. I should get the final hit. All right, here we go. You can't oh, not yet, not yet, not like yet. This? Oh, no, I can do it, I can do it. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> here we go! No! Oh! <laughs> and you did all the work. <laughs> all by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> okay, this is a great cutscene though. We should watch this. I'm just at a space jump. Mass Effect. Oh, Lord. A meteor hit the planet. We all died. A red mark was made on the map. All right. To say the least. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um so the the lore of that is that Radon was with his gravity magic was literally holding back the motion of the stars. That's like how powerful he is. So they so were like, catching up. The motion of the planets and the stars were not moving because of uh Radon's magic and because Rani is the lunar witch, 
her fate was also frozen because oh. it's tied to the stars. Right. So that's why we had to kill Radon so that Ronnie's fate could move forwards. I would have loved, and I think there would have been nothing funnier in this world than if you died trying to get one single hit and it being the final hit. It would have been funny, but I wasn't about to let it happen if I could help it. Hello, husband. Ah, uh, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. But Radan and you. And how did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokla, where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. It was pretty sick, wasn't it, Bly? Let's meet where the fallen will go into battle again. Side by side. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate. Sword and fang. The curtain's rising. On the final act. I don't know about the final act, dude. This game's pretty long. <laughs> Let's meet with a fungal going to buy only purpose the curtains. Maybe the curtain's rising on not even being quite halfway through it yet. <laughs> and uh, Alexander's struggling a bit over here. Ah, hello there. Well, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand... I'm nothing but a croc. You sure about One that? It was all it took to crack me and for my insides to come spilling out. After did you that, see what we did? I hid like a coward. You hid like a coward? How embarrassing. Oh, yeah, we want to know How anything about that. We ran like a coward. I, uh, I don't know if you saw, but I actually got the final hit. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> Exceedingly fine. Currently playing Zelda said they've been confused since the beginning, but especially last stream where we fought Ronnie and her mom after allying with her and then the mom helped us for some reason. So we were fighting Renala, who was Ronnie's mom. Yeah. But Renala's a little bit out of her mind. Yeah. So she wasn't even really fighting us as much as she was just making clones. Because she's crazy because the egg, right? She's crazy because her husband left her yeah. with nothing but egg. Yeah. Um, and then after we beat her first form, Ronnie basically like projected into her to try and protect her mother. Yeah, uh, Renala's just depressed. So then once you beat that, um, Renal is no longer fighting you. She's just sort of sitting there being sad. But all she cares about is reforming things into new things. And so that's why she's the one who like respects your character. You give her the larval tier. You didn't see it because I did it off stream, but you give her the larval tier and she lets you redo your character. She also lets you change your character's appearance if you want. Someday, <clears throat> I mean, hopefully not, but maybe one day if Jacob ever decides that he's had enough and that it's time for a divorce... He's going to hand me an egg and leave. A giant amber egg and you'll know. And I'll know. It's divorce time. Yeah. The bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warrior? <laughs> Just you wait. Uh, someone else was asking about the warrior jars. So the jars are actually jars full of like corpses. Typically of warriors that have been like stuffed into them. And then at some point, the like spirits of the warriors cause the jars to gain sentience. Mm -hmm. And so he actually puts warrior bodies into himself to make him stronger. Like he fills himself with the corpses of warriors. 
like how I think it was medieval pagan groups would uh, elect a leader for a year. And then at the end of his year, they would get him drunk, draw and quarter him and then eat him. And then they would bury uh, the, you know, the ding dong for a good harvest. Bury the ding dong. For a good harvest. For a good harvest. If you want a good harvest, you may as well bury the ding dong. <clears throat> Do a little level up, why don't we? Julia, what? That's true. Bury the ding dong. Allegedly. I'm not going to get into legal troubles with people from like the 1100s. It's fine. Can I offer you an egg in this trying divorce? Uh, now we're going to go back to reality. We come here again, we can actually talk to Jaren. Whoops. Jaren sounds like a boy band member. My name's Jaren. Yo, my name's Jaren. I'm the leader of... Who are all these ghosts? Did they not make it through the... Well, that's Tregoth. We summoned him. Why is he a ghost? That's Lionel the Lionhearted. We summoned him. That's Okino. They're just like spirit summons, like, oh, okay. you know, they're not like in our world. They're like adjacent to it. Got it, got it, got it. Hello, Jaren. At last, the war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. The celebration was spectacular. General Radan is surely pleased. Festering with rot dog. and crippled by madness. All he wanted was an honorable death. Finally, my work is done. I'm no longer bound to this fortress. I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. Vacation in Florida. May we meet again if the fates deign it. Brave champion. Yeah, I wouldn't understand what old business is. It's time I went on my way. May we meet again if the fates deign it. Brave champion. All right, we're, we're nearing the end here, uh, but I think we can get a couple more things in real quick, like going and talking to EG about what, about what the hell's going on around here. Man, I love EG. EG just wants to hang out. EG good. EG just wants to hang out and read his giant book. Ah, you finally come. Blythe told me everything. You've defeated General Radan, unlocking the stars. The General was blighted by Scarlet Rot and driven to madness. But not long ago, he was hailed as the mightiest demigod of them all. There is no parallel to your achievement nor to Lady Rani's acute judgment of character. Thanks to you, Lady Rani's fate once again stirs, and the path to Nokron has opened. Descend underground where the fallen star struck Limgrave, and make it yours, the precious treasure of Nokron. Oh, Blythe wanted me to tell you not to bother waiting for him and head straight to Nokron. Blythe has been given an important task, apparently a matter of great urgency. About Blythe. You need not await, Blythe. Descend underground alone with a fallen star-struck Limgrave and make it yours, the precious treasure of Nokron, so that Lady... So the thing is, it's suspicious that he's like, don't wait for Blythe, right? Just a wee bit. 
And so we're going to just coincidentally go all the way down to here. Coincidentally. Coincidentally. For no reason. We just felt like checking out old Limgrave. We just felt like we were going to, maybe we should go look at the forlorn hound Everjail again. Where Blythe wanted us to uh, kill the dude that was locked in here. Oh, what's that? A howl. Oh, it's you. It's me, Blythe. Old E.G. trapped me here. E.G.? Told me I'd bring north the bell to Lady Rani. But there's no chance that could happen. I'm part of her being. A very shadow. I thought old E.G. knew as much. Honestly. I don't know what's going on anymore. We're not going to open it. We're going to go talk to E.G. about this. E.G.? E.G.? Why, did, why did you put my husband in jail? E.G.? You better have a good reason. Well, my fellow, how may I serve you? As war counselor? Or as... Why is Blythe in the ever jail? I presume you've spoken with Blythe? Very well. There is something you should know. He just hits you the with his giant hammer. The two gave back. Blythe to Lady Rani as a faithful follower. Her very shadow, incapable of treachery. But if Lady Rani, as an Empyrean, resists being an instrument of the two fingers, the shadow will go mad, transforming from a follower into a horrid curse. But such is his destiny. In such matters, Blythe's own thoughts hold no weight. It pains me so. But he must be neutralized for Lady Rani's sake. So he's saying that Rani is intending to do some anti-god behavior. Mm. She's going to act against the interest of the two fingers. And because Blythe was given to her by the two fingers and he's incapable of treachery. Uh. But he also is like bound to her to serve her and whatever she does mm -hmm. that if she does something against the two fingers it's going to make him go crazy mode right because he's going to be so torn because he's going to be torn between the two sides of him um but we are going to go let him out of jail because he's our husband and nobody puts our husband in jail ronnie wants to support the other three fingers not the two fingers. Yeah. She's a more of a thumb. Yeah. Kind of gal. Thumb. Very useful. Very practical. He's in the pound. I don't understand. Why would E.G. do this? I could never intend harm to Lady Rani. What was he thinking? Come on out, bud. My, my big sword brother. <laughs> my thanks, friend. I'm going to see Mr. Srani now. I don't know what came over old E.G., but even if the odds are slim, I need to check the mistress is safe. Now, Rani can finally set in motion the fight against her fate she's dreamt of for so long. About that. <laughs> I'm going to see Mr. I don't know what, but even if the odds... All right, the last thing we're going to do before we call it a night is I just want to show you all where the meteor hit and where we'll be headed on the next stream. This is like, you know, leaving us on a cliffhanger here. Yeah. Let's actually, uh, let's make it daytime so we can see what's going on. Oh, EG. You can see some um, well, some floating rocks. There's a bit of a floating rock 
scenario. And it landed right here and it made this big ass crater. And down into this crater is where we will need to go next stream. We'll do it. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we'll probably be back with a bonus stream maybe tomorrow. Maybe Friday. Yeah. Because yeah. I guess we're probably not going to be streaming Sunday because it's Christmas. Oh yeah, probably not. But uh, we'll we'll figure it all out as we go. We'll we'll let you know on Twitter if we're going to be doing bonus streams. Yep. Over the next couple days. Or you can join the uh, Discord. Yeah, you can join the Discord. I think if you do exclamation point Discord in chat, yep. it will link it to you. The, the link will pop up. Um. Yeah. And that's going to be it for us for tonight. Thanks everybody for watching and for hanging out with us. Yeah. And we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, y'all. Bye.